Danny and this is Annie's Arachnids. Now this morning is a very exciting morning for me. Today I am going to the South East Invert Show and Robbie from Robbie's Talking Tea will be picking me up very shortly to go and I want you to come with me to this amazing road trip and amazing show. So before we start our journey please could you like this video, comment down below and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to see more of me then please hit the notification bell i would really appreciate it now that we've got that all out of the way shall we start our amazing road trip <laughs> let's go
the things that I've got from the South East Invert Show. Um, absolutely fantastic time. Um, but there was only two on my list that I wanted, which I will show you in a minute. But firstly, let me show you these two here. Now, these two documentaries are from Andrew Smith, which some of you might know is the guru when it comes to tarantulas. Amazing, amazing guy. Without him, we would not know anything about some of these wonderful tarantulas today. So if you do not know about Andrew Smith, please go to lovetarantulas.com. There you go. There's his uh, little um, logo. Couldn't think there. <laughs> There's his little logo there. Um, he's also making a new documentary, which um, he is funding. But yes, amazing buy this is. £10 and you get whatever you want free. And I've got another DVD with it because I really enjoy his documentaries. I've seen a few, but I decided to buy them on DVD. So the next thing I got, which was on my list, I only had two on my list, remember? And I really wanted this. I wanted the Pamphobetus species Macala. Now we have a male. Really, really, really wanted a female. Now, this is on sex. I am crossing my fingers that it will be a female so we can breed these fantastic tarantulas. So, yes, £30. Can't go wrong with that. So, I was quite happy with that. And it was from the spider shop. And that was the only one that I've seen. In fact, it wasn't me that saw it. It was Robbie that kind of called me and was like oi come over here I've got something here that you will be interested so I was quite happy with that and now I've got it so next I am really happy to see the Portsmouth Trenchla mystery bag now when I went to their table I saw no mystery bags and I thought oh no they've all sold out no, they never sold out. Apparently, they didn't have enough time to do mystery bags. So, they just came down and decided to um, do without the mystery bag. So, when I got there, they were like, oh, you know, we can't do it. We didn't have time. But, they come up with a solution that, give us the money. We will make you a mystery bag right here, right now. And I said, fantastic so I gave them 30 pounds to give me a 30 pound mystery bag and I'm not gonna lie I've already seen what's inside there and <laughs> I did kind of was like oh my god every time I was looking because it was a fantastic mystery bag they are my go-to people when it comes to mystery bag and every show I have to have a mystery bag from Portsmouth they are my favorite when it comes to mystery bags or box whatever you want to call them but um if you think there's someone better that does better mystery box or bags than um portsmouth let me know and i will buy a mystery bag from whoever you suggest and i will check them out and i'll put it in the video how about that but that's only if you suggest to me so anyways let's go and see what's in this bag because i'm waffling <laughs> so I'm just going to reach in. Like I said, I've seen it before, so you won't get the same reaction that I did earlier. The first one I've got brought out is the Bomba Harida. Okay, the Brazilian redhead. Nice. I was actually looking at this on another stall. I can't remember what stall, um, what stall it was, but it was really, really awesome. And I liked the colours. So I'm glad I got that in there. <laughs> Here we have... A Chromata Pelma China Pubescence, the GBB. Now, I've got one already, but they are amazing and also great for beginners, I reckon. So definitely, definitely, definitely glad that's in my collection. I'm not mad about that at all. And love this. Carabina Versicolor. How awesome is that? Remember, I gave them £30, yeah, for this mystery bags. Bags? Bag. <laughs> so, I mean, 
if you saw my last well not my last video last couple of videos i'd done a video on a caribbean verse color as it was my first tarantula i still have it it's a male unfortunately um but i still love it just the same it's just that it worries me now and again and it's going to be heartbreaking right got two more in the bag so let's have a look okay we have a davis pentalaurus pentalaurus i'm not sure if i said that right i'm really sorry but i'm happy with that we have a few in the collection but look stunningly in there look how gorgeous so one more i know what's in here so and we have Samapaeus Marina. I'm a, I think so. That's how you say it. Apologies. <laughs> so that is amazing. Mind you, that was thirty pounds mystery bag. So if you think that what's it called? There's a, a better company that does better mystery boxes or bag. Let me know. Comment down below. Tell me about it. And I will buy a mystery bag off them. And I, I might even just review what I thought was better. Either the uh, Portsmouth Tranchers or whatever company you suggest. That would be actually a fun video to do. So, yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Let me know. Okay. So, let me just put this aside because over here this was on my list and i'm actually quite happy with this so i'm going to show you so i'm going to cut the video here and just we're going to concentrate on this here so i will be back so i'm back now i wanted to make this a bit of a focus point because this was on my list i only had two things on my list which was the um the pantomitis macala and the jumping spider i wanted a jumping spider that's what i wanted but I found something as good. I found something which I got more for my jumping spider. So I found this little uh, place. It was these people that sell the jumping spider, and they are called Buddha Ness UK. And they were selling this jumping spider here for fifteen pounds. And if you look, he's right, or he or she, I'm not sure yet. It's right at the top. Right there, having a little roll, a stroll around. So they were fifteen pounds each. Now in the spider shop, they were selling them for ten pounds and some for twenty pounds, and they were a lot bigger than that one. So they were cheaper. But the reason why I was drawn with the Spood and Ness is because they had this amazing setup for fifteen. Sorry, not fifteen pounds. 50 pounds okay so not only did i get this nice little setup i got the spider with the setup so that was nice and that's why i was drawn to it so i decided to get it they had the smaller enclosure for less i think it was like for 40 pounds was it 40 pounds or less than that probably about 30 i'm not sure but it was a smaller enclosure with all the same setup um just with, and with the spider as well so Let's see what was in the setup. So you've got the enclosure, which is a really nice enclosure that opens up like so. And then with that enclosure, you get a beautiful little hide. I love this. They had like a silvery grey one, but I decided to get the gold one. My daughter loves gold, so I had to get the gold. <laughs> so I got that. That's quite cute, isn't it? A little, little pair or a teardrop hide that just hangs at the back. That would be nice. With that, I get a plant. This is what I liked about it. So, not only is it a nice little setup, it's going to be a bioactive setup. And that is why I was like, wow. <laughs> so, that's why I was drawn to them as well. So, I get a nice little plant. And I get some fruit flies. So, I can feed. And I get some isopods as well. And I get substrate. They had their own mix of substrate. I can't remember what was in it now, but it was poker fiber. I swear it was um, vermiculite was in it and something else. I can't remember, but I did read it before I thought, yeah, I'm going to do it. Now, 
I've got some isopods with them. They are pretty good for your um, bioactive enclosures. But this is where I am, um, the worrying bit for me. A lot of people came to them and bought this setup. It was quite a feature thing for them and they were quite like, oh, okay. Especially for people that never has had them before, they were interested and a lot of them bought them. Now, when you buy from a seller, you obviously buy, um, you obviously go to them because one, they should know their stuff. So you buy in confidence, knowing that they know what they're doing, they know their stuff and you trust that. So when it came to these isopods, I was talking to two good friends of mine and they were talking about the dairy cow isopods and they said that it's not a very advisable to have it in the enclosure for a cleanup for a, a, an, a, an active bio enclosure for the jumping spider or any kind of species because they do have a high protein diet and also they breed very fast and they said no they you can't have it in the enclosure i was told uh, they did give me another suggestions of isopods um to use i cannot remember what it is but i will put it down in the description and i'll put it on here for you to see as well um in the video for you to see so i was very grateful um, so thank you to Phil from Incredible Inverts, his channel. Go and check him out. And thank you to Callum from Happy Ants UK. So thank you guys, because if they didn't point that out to me, now as a as a customer, I trust what that they know their stuff. And I would have just happily have put that in there because I trust that the person that's selling to me and you trust that they know their stuff so this is probably why it's really important to research what you buy and not just trust everything that people tells you not that they're wrong it, but in this case there is now i really do feel sorry for the people that have bought this setup and probably are just going to do what i was going to do and just put it in there um, put everything in there, set it up all nicely to find out that possibly might not have a jumping spider, which is really heartbreaking. So know your stuff, um, research everything, uh, ask friends, which I did um, before you start making the setup. I mean, I've just, this plant, I don't even actually know what this plant is. So I've just asked a few of my friends um, who have their bioactive um, enclosures. Like I said, this is going to be my first one. So please, you know, ask, um, research it before you just set it up. It's really important and it just goes to show. So I'm going to get rid of these. <laughs> And maybe somebody, I'm not going to get rid of them. I could just breed them by themselves and just have a, my own little isopod nest, I suppose. Or probably give it to someone who would want some isopods. So if you're interested in some dairy cow isopods, let me know down in the comment. Let me know what you think. Um, well, not think, but let me know if you want it. So what I'm going to do now is... I am going to rehouse. Some of them need rehousing, some of them don't. So the ones that need rehousing will probably be be the my Macalas and I think just the, the Macala actually. The Pants Beaters Macala and whatever. So I will be doing that in next week's video. So don't worry about that. They are going to get rehoused. It's just that I'm going to put the video out next week. So thank you guys for watching. I'm absolutely shattered. I'm going to eat now. I'm going to have a shower. And I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so thank you. And what a great day. And what a great bye that I got. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank you to Phil and Callum as well. Thank you guys. You're awesome. 
what an amazing day that was. As you can see, it was very, very busy and it was an amazing day. I would like to thank a few people though. One, I would like to thank Robbie for Robbie's talking to. Without him, I wouldn't be at the show today. <laughs> and also, I wouldn't even been in the hobby without him. So I thank you a thousand times. <laughs> I also want to thank Scott from Scott Inverts. And I want to thank Phil from Incredible Inverts. And I also want to thank Callum from Happy Ant UK. Those guys, they are amazing. They made my day so much more fun and special. You guys, thank you so much. For all the people that came over to talk to mainly Robin. <laughs> but thank you for coming over anyways. And it was just so nice to meet all you new people. It was great and I really enjoyed myself. I am going to give you some advice. If you're going to go to a show, make sure, and if you do decide to do a raffle, make sure you buy more than 15 tickets because you ain't going to win. <laughs> okay? Even if you have 10, like, <laughs> like 10 or whatever, you ain't going to win. I'm really upset. As most of you guys know that was at the show, you can see the frustration on my face. That is okay. It was an amazing day. So anyways, thank you so much, everybody. And I will see you guys later. This is a very tired Annie. <laughs> and you have just been watching Annie's Arachnids. Bye.